with the challenge. Mr. Clive, how are you? Hi, Mike. Yes, how's it? Yeah, good, good, man. Right, so, um, we just want to look at uh, a few, a few, a few pairs. I think the classroom room will just add all of them. But we'll obviously start with uh, the volatility 75. Because you all know that the volatility 75, that's, that's my main pair, personally. Um, I can add this other boom, which I was in one but I don't trade them. My main pair is fix 75. So basically, just do a quick rundown over over all the uh, understanding of what might be happening today. So you can use you can use the chat here, the chat to indicate uh, with some of you there's a lot of noise on your background. You can use the chat. If you are hearing me, just say we are hearing you on the chat. Left a particular which I'll maintain, which is uh, 75. Right, so here I'm right now on MT5. This is MT5. I'm using MT5 to do our analysis. And the strategy that I'm using, I'm using smart contracts trading 3.0. 3.0, it's, it's a much more advanced strategy in the sense that it covers almost uh, institutional and also the retail trading strategies. So, as we are on Boom 300, we are starting from the weekly time frame. We would have gone to the monthly, although the monthly is no, there's not a structure there that we are seeing. Obviously, the monthly consider this thing has been down trending. So, on the weekly, we can actually that we have been in a downtrend. Right, we have been in a, in a, a down as you can see. Let me just um, highlight here. As you can see, we've been in a downtrend here at the opening. The market opened, it was downtrending, 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 and boom, shoot all the way up. This break to the upside was actually an opportunity to buy the boom. We have the break here, the breakout of here, the upside. If you can hear us, type in the chat box that we can hear you. You can just type in the chat there that you can hear me. So, the break there to the upside, the break to the upside was an opportunity to buy. Forming a higher highs, higher highs. This was the higher low, came and broke the higher low. Break of this higher low like this, it was a change of character, a shift in market structure, meaning we're now looking forward to market to, to, to the downtrend. Okay. So this was the formation of lower highs, lower lows, lower highs, lower lows, highs here, lower low, lower high. Right now we are currently at a lower low level. So right now we're currently at a lower low level on boom 300. So we're still following market structure, simply looking at market structure and also going to because remember this is smart conference. 3.0, which is actually our our final 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 uh strategy when it comes to full cost membership that we do. So this is what we said it actually covers almost every aspect of trading, it covers the retail trading strategies and less the institutional trading strategies. So right now we are simply looking at market structure. If you look at market structure and boom you can actually see that it has been downtrending and you can actually make money on sales ever since it started downtrending. You've actually been making money on sales. So moving on now, moving on now, moving on to where the market is now. Let's move on to where the market is. If we zoom in, right, if we zoom in, right. if you zoom, zoom in, as I said, it's a lower low level. It's a lower level, a lower low level. The market has been failing to break this level, right, which, which might be a possible, possible support that the market, uh, when we a possible support that the market might have created there. So, um, right, so this is the structure that we are seeing on Boom and the New Year. We've actually been consolidating. This is a whole consolidation. If you look at it, this is Boom 300. We've been consolidating. We're looking at things from a higher time perspective. We've been consolidating. So when you see consolidations happening on the daily, what you do? This is how we trade consolidation, especially consolidations that happen on a higher time frame like this. At the top here. The top of the consolidation. We are much more interested in selling. We sell the top, we sell the top, and we buy the bottom. This one also could have been a bottom because there is a uh, the best. It's also this level here. So at the top, we 
cell at the bottom with, with by this way. That is how you trade a uh, consolidation or a range market. You sell at the top and you buy at the bottom. So, so far, we trend has been consolidating and it's still within the consolidation. So, the, the thing that now we now would like, like to see on Boomtrend is like a breakout a breakout of that consolidation. He tried tried to break out, fake break in because this can be tested. If ever it's tested and rejected on that level, it's going to continue going up. Remember, this market has been downtrending before consolidation. That market was downtrending, downtrend, consolidation. So, most probably, most probably, according to probability, we might have something like this downtrend, consolidation. Then a downtrend. So this this initial downtrend can be equal to uh, that might happen after the break to the downside. So that's just a probability based on experience and also based on how we have been viewing the market for quite a long time now. So and nothing much to explain there. We are in a consolidation and in a consolidation itself the top right now. It's, it's, it's coming from the top. He had faked out. So right now currently what I'm seeing here, what I'm seeing here, this was the resistance, faked out, then came back inside. After coming back inside, we expect the market to boom, come back here, reject low, then go all the way to the downside. So one can sell here upon upon the uh, the richest inside this resistance, the chest and the chest inside the resistance, one can actually sell all the way to the bottom of the range. And also, the break of this support area, support here, reject, 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 that is a support area that one can actually sell. You realize that if you look at it clearly, you realize that the market is trying to form something like a possible head and shoulder, whereby you have a left shoulder, you have a head, and most likely a shoulder. So, there you can sell, as well as after the break of the neckline, you can also sell between the bottom of the range. So, I know that so far the analysis that we are looking at, that's so far the analysis that we are looking at. Once the market comes back here, the chest and the reject, Sales. Buys are only going to be taken if this market breaks to the top and give us a rejection candle to the upside. But that's how we're only going to buy. So far, right now, we're looking for sales. If it comes with this resistance, give us a rejection to, to the downside, we're going to take sales as well as after the market, we're going to take sales all the way targeting the bottom of the range. So, boom 300, we're done. Boom 300, we're done. Boom 300, we're done. That's for boom 300. So, moving on. Crash 300. Crash 300 from the weekly, you realize that we are also coming from a downtrend. Thing similar to the boom. We have a downtrend. We have a downtrend. If you want to place trend lines, to place trend lines. Touch, touch. Place touch, second touch. So right now, just hitting things from the weekly time frame perspective, you realize that the market can actually maybe give us a form of uh, trust with upside maybe before continuing all the way. To give us a third touch here. Once we get the third, third touch, we expect a drop. That is just a rough overview of what might happen on uh, on the on the crash. That is from a weekly perspective. A weekly perspective. The trend line, first touch, second touch, most probably this two week I can actually come with to touch the trend line. Uh, so maybe one one moment wants to get a little bit high going all the way to the upside. What you still need to do right now is to wait because remember this market has been downtrending. So in order for it to uptrend this to lower high, low, lower high here, lower low here. So we need to see a shift, we need to see the break of this lower high, give us a higher high, then maybe the adjustment and the higher low or even the same low. Then we take our buys either here or here if it comes in. Either here or there, we take our buys all the way with it to the upside. That is it for. If we are going to buy it, the retracement that might happen all the way to the uh, that trend line, we are going to wait for the change in the market structure. We wait for change in market structure, we also wait for the break of the this trend line like this. So this is what we're looking forward to. This is what we're looking at uh, for crash triangle. If you check actually wait here, yeah, wait to update the numbers. Touch, touch, extend, one, two, three, four, five, six. For the past six days, that was actually a beautiful buying opportunity for. As I said, we need to see the break. The break of this lower high. Once that lower is broken, okay, it is a trust man. Based on Fibonacci, you get a trust man to end the trust all the way to the upside. Right, plus 300 by 10. 1,000. Boom, 1,000 looking from the weekly. Looking from the weekly time from perspective, uh, we can actually see that it has been going down. It has been going down. It has been going down. And also, uh, again, from this perspective, we have this, this major trend line here. Touch, 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 touch. It was broken here. So that break on its own. Already, we can actually expect some form of it is either to the trend line or back to the support area here. Either to the trend line or the support area. That's what we expect here. It's going to trust all the way to the trend line or that support. That support area here. We put support area where we can do so. So it can actually trust area here, all the way on the trend line. That's why after the trusting there, we expect a continuation all the way to the downside. And for targets, we always look at the loss. This is also support. 
Thank you. 